The Iron Neck Pro 3.0 is the newest generation of cervical strengthening devices to hit the market by the Iron Neck company. It's touted as an effective way to reduce neck injuries, reduce pain, improve neck strength, function, and mobility, all while being easily performed within the comfort of your own home. But is it superior to their second generation model? And is it even worth considering in the first place? Well, I'm going to break all of this down for you from my clinically based perspective, so let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Jim. I am a geeky yet passionate physical therapist and strength and conditioning specialist who loves to help other individuals in the clinic and online by sharing my knowledge, my expertise, and my thoughts with others in hopes that it helps them to live stronger, healthier, and more meaningful lives. Now, as we get going with things, I need to quickly get some general housekeeping stuff out of the way. And then right after that, I will start the review by giving you the final verdict first First, because I know your time is precious. And then from there, I'll break down the significant changes and upgrades to this current generation and what it likely means for you if you use this device. And don't forget, I've got timestamps in the description so that you can easily jump to any section of the video that may be most helpful for you. So as we kick things off, I wanna let you all know that the folks at Iron Neck sent me this third generation Iron Neck Pro for review. Now, no money was exchanged in this process, and every word, thought, and opinion in this video is my own. The folks at Iron Neck don't get any input to this video or get to see it before I upload it. Now, if you are wanting to learn a bit more about the second generation Iron Neck Pro, I do have a video review that I put out on this channel last year where I went over its various strengths and weaknesses. And you can check that out if you're looking to learn more about that particular generation. As well, if you are looking to learn how to strengthen your neck, but you aren't sure if the Iron Neck is appropriate for you, or if it's just not a viable option for any other reason, then I do have a video on my channel going over how you can replicate some of the basic functionality of the Iron Neck using just some TheraBand when first starting out the process of strengthening your neck. And using TheraBand can actually be an outstanding starting point for those who need to start with very generalized and low intensity neck exercises before stepping up to the Iron neck or for those who want to see if their neck will even tolerate some rudimentary neck exercises before progressing to a more dedicated piece of equipment. So feel free to check that video out if you want to start out with some TheraBand. But above all else, know that I am not here to push sales. Now I want everyone to spend their money wisely. And my biggest hope with this video is that it will help you to have confidence in knowing whether or not this device is worth it for you and your overall needs. Yes, the Iron Neck has been an outstanding addition to my clinical arsenal of tools that I use and so many of my patients have enjoyed using it and have told me firsthand the benefits that they've felt with it. And I've seen many of those benefits, but like any other piece of equipment ever to have existed, it's not for everyone. So I hope I can help provide some helpful information for you here in this video. And therefore, it should go without saying that there can be numerous reasons why an individual experiences neck pain, and it's always your best bet to get a qualified healthcare professional to examine your neck and help you understand what's causing your pain and your best path forward. Now, I can't tell you if neck strengthening with the iron neck is appropriate for you, so make sure to get a qualified assessment if you have any questions. So out of respect for your time, here's my final verdict. And after I explain it, then we'll unpack the specifics of how and why I've arrived at this conclusion. So the Iron Neck Pro 3.0 takes an already great product and makes it better. Now I find that the upgrades to this current generation take care of all the notable gripes I had with the previous generation, which both myself and my patients appreciate. Now I find that it's even a bit more comfortable than the previous generation due to one of those upgrades, which I'll talk about shortly, and I don't have any concerns about the product's overall build quality. Seeing how the previous generation Iron Neck Pro that I've used in the clinic has held up just fine after quite a bit of use, I suspect that this latest generation will do the same. And if you do want to read up on a few additional thoughts of mine, as well as some answers to some frequently asked questions that people have about the Iron Neck, you can head over to the blog article on my website where I also review this device. I'll put a link in the description below and hopefully that will help give you some more information if you have any other questions. So the Iron Neck Pro is the most versatile model model of Iron Neck devices. There are three different Iron Neck models. One, the starter model, two, the varsity model, and three, the pro model. What makes the pro model unique is its variable resistance dial that allows the resistance of the headpiece to be taken from no resistance all the way to a heavy resistance. And it can go to any interval in between. Now the starter model doesn't have any tension that can be put through the device itself. And the varsity model has a fixed resistance level, both of which have a time and a place. However, as a physical therapist who uses the device on my patients with various levels of neck health and neck strength, and as someone who uses it on myself, I need something that can accommodate to meet the needs of all types of necks, 
Hence the appropriateness of me utilizing the Pro model. Within the Iron Neck box that you receive when purchasing the Iron Neck Pro, you receive a very nicely packaged box, which includes the Iron Neck Pro itself, a 25 pound resistance band, a door anchor, a door belt, a cinch anchor, one skull cap for further snugging up the fit around your head if it's required, and three interchangeable front pads to optimize the fit of the Iron Neck Pro around your head. There is also the option to purchase lighter resistance bands, which can be used for the Iron Neck itself or even for shoulder strengthening exercises. And that's outstanding since the shoulder and neck are quite functionally dependent upon one another for optimal orthopedic health. You also get access to initial phases of exercises and have the option to purchase premium content starting at $9.99. Now, I haven't used the Iron Neck training library myself as I have a rather good handle on cervical strengthening and rehabilitation protocols. However, when I received the Iron Neck Pro, I was very happy to see that they have continued to expand their library of exercises and content for those who purchase their equipment. This was one of my initial suggestions to the folks at the Iron Neck company when I reviewed the second generation Pro model, as individuals who purchase this product shouldn't be left to figure out how to perform neck exercises on their own. And they already had a great library to begin with, and I'm just really happy to see that it has since massively expanded. So I'm thrilled to see that their content library continues to grow, and that the folks at the Iron Neck company understand the importance of looking after and helping their customers with educational-based content. The Iron Neck Pro isn't the cheapest neck device on the market, so for its price price point, I've always expected its overall construction to be on point. Now, I didn't have any concerns with the quality of the second generation Pro model, and so far, I don't have any concerns with this new model either. Just as with the previous generation, it's built from plastic, but it's important to understand that this is absolutely necessary, as necks can often be extremely delicate, and a lightweight device keeps necks from getting irritated, provides more extensive variety of exercises, and it reduces the discomfort that might otherwise arise when wearing a heavy device around your head for an extended period of time. Everything on my second generation Pro model has held up just fine after extensive clinical use, the Velcro for the forehead pads, the pump and the air bladder, and even the tensioning dial have held up without issue, despite being used a whole heck of a lot in our clinic. Now, while I have yet to use this newer model nearly as much at this point in time, I have no concerns about its initial quality. So far, I'm finding this third generation model to be even more comfortable than its predecessor. And considering how I didn't have any issues with the comfort of the previous generation, nor did most of my patients, I'm thrilled that this newer version has optimized the comfort even more. And I've always commended the folks at the Iron Neck company on this as creating a device that can comfortably accommodate the various sizes and shapes of the human head likely is not an easy task. And when people ask me about the device's comfort, I like to say that while it won't be as comfortable as slipping on your favorite ball cap, it certainly shouldn't be uncomfortable either. And with this third generation, I'm finding it to be more comfortable and more natural feeling around my head than the second generation itself. But as I said earlier, the second generation is still decently comfortable. As we start with the upgrades, I'm gonna go through them in the order of most significant to least significant, at least for my clinical needs. Now, the order in which you deem these upgrades to be significant may likely be different for you, so just keep that in mind. And ultimately, my reason for this order, it comes down to me using this device as a practitioner on my patients within the clinic and not just necessarily for my own needs. Though I do use it on myself as well, but I'm really gonna look at it from the view of me being a practitioner with my patients. For starters, I am thrilled that the new 3.0 version has an upgraded tensioner that allows me to, at least in a sense, quantify the amount of resistance that I'm using on the device. The second generation model had a spinning wheel that got the job done for altering resistance, but it didn't allow me to quantify more exact levels of resistance I was using for my patients. And that would never be an issue when using the device on myself as I don't need to worry about that. But when using the device on my patients, quantifying the resistance allows me to keep track of their progress and even provide more specific information to insurance companies regarding their overall progress. So with the new generation, there's an audible click that occurs as you ratchet the tension up or down. Now, while it doesn't provide me with a numerical value, it really doesn't have to. I just need something that can help me have confidence in tracking a patient's overall progress. It also helps me to standardize the resistance a patient is using from one session to the next. You get about 10 clicks with this new version, and while I don't know if the tension will stay consistent over the next 100 or so sessions that take place with this device, I'm thrilled that this improvement has been made. The second most significant upgrade for my needs is the new generation's interchangeable forehead pads. More specifically, this third generation has pads that are made from a non-porous material, which may not be a big deal for you if you're using the Iron Neck on yourself, 
but when using it with multiple people in the clinic, it is a massive deal. And this was one of my biggest gripes with the second generation model, is it had padding that was comfortable enough, but it was prone to collecting dead skin and makeup and even sweat since these interchangeable pads were made from a porous material. And this made it quite challenging to clean, and sometimes patients would remark about the cleanliness of the pad, despite my repeated best efforts to clean it after every session. Now, thankfully, the pads on the new model can easily be sprayed, wiped down, and dried, which keeps the device looking clean and keeps my patients happy. And what's even better, as I mentioned earlier, is I find these pads to be slightly more comfortable than those of the previous generation. And as I stated earlier, while I didn't have any issues with the comfort of the previous generation, nor did the majority of my patients, this added comfort will likely go a long way. While the weight of the second generation iron neck was quite acceptable, the new 3.0 is even lighter. And for individuals with otherwise healthy necks, this really won't matter that much or be that much of an issue, but for many of my patients who have rather weak or dysfunctional or deconditioned necks, a reduction in device weight is immensely helpful. Remember, I deal with some very dysfunctional necks and shoulders, and so if and when the time comes where it's appropriate for me to use the iron neck on a patient, lighter weight reduces the risk of any flare-ups or pain that a patient might otherwise experience when their neck has to support some extra weight around their head for an extended period of time. Now, one benefit I'm personally noticing with this lighter weight so far is that I can keep the device on my head for a longer period of time without feeling any noticeable sort of fatigue or overwhelming desire to take it off for a moment. And I think some of this is due to the added comfort, which creates a sort of synergistic effect when wearing the device. And less weight around the head combined with added comfort really can go a long way in making you forget that you have a giant ring resting around your head. In addition to being lighter, I'm also thrilled that the 3.0 is now noticeably smaller than its predecessor. Now, while the size of the device isn't much of an issue for me personally, anytime a device can become smaller without sacrificing functionality or quality, it's something that I certainly welcome. And from a practitioner's perspective, I'll also mention that there's a bit less of an intimidation factor that can creep in when my patients are staring at a smaller, more aesthetically pleasing iron neck. Now, the previous generation doesn't look terrible, but patients with painful necks can be hesitant to put a large, bulkier looking device on their head than one that's smaller and sleeker looking. So overall, the smaller size is certainly welcomed. And then there's the aesthetics. Now, of course, in terms of significance, this is at the bottom of my upgrade list, as it's certainly a subjective upgrade and not one that's most critical by any means, but I do feel that the aesthetics of the new iron neck are much nicer than the previous generation. So let's just say that I personally like the looks of this model much more than the previous generation. So at the end of the day, I really do think that the folks at Iron Neck really hit the nail on the head here. Now, cervical strengthening is often overlooked both for injury prevention and sometimes for injury rehabilitation. Just remember, neck issues can be a very tricky road to navigate, and it's a road that ideally should involve the assessment and, in a perfect world, continual guidance from a qualified practitioner. Again, I say that because I want you to have the most success possible if using this device or any other device for that matter. I care about your well being, and I always want you to make informed and smart decisions when you're spending your hard earned money and when you're looking to reclaim your health and well being. When strengthening is warranted and it's appropriate, then the iron neck can absolutely produce outstanding results. With the second generation model, many of my patients who opted to try it within the clinic, along with myself, have had very noticeable success when using it. And since the third generation has essentially eliminated the few shortcomings and gripes that I had with the previous version, I can only imagine that we'll have just as much, if not more success with this third generation. So I hope this review has helped you to feel better informed about the third generation Iron Neck Pro and whether or not it may be an ideal piece of equipment for you to use. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to respond. And if this video has been helpful for you in any sort of way, please hit that like button. That would mean a lot to me. And feel free to subscribe if if you don't want to miss any of the other content I'm uploading here on this channel. So everyone, keep looking after yourselves, keep looking after one another, keep making great things happen, and I will see you in the next video.